Good morning. This is Pastor John, and the title of my sermon is Behold, the End of All Things is Upon Us. Um, there's a lot of things going on out there. We've been hearing uh, of wars and rumors of wars. Um, being a Christian and being a minister, I tend to always turn to the Bible. I tend to always turn to Jesus Christ, and um, I truly feel that we are in the last days of all things. And being in the last days, I want to step up my game and I want you all to step up your games and believe more than ever that Jesus Christ's return is imminent. I want to read you a few things from the Bible today, um, getting back to the Word of God. Get my glasses on here. Um, thank you, Maureen Weaver. You know what I'm talking about. I'm picking up in uh, Matthew 24, the beginning of the chapter, where it says, and Jesus went out and departed from the temple, and his disciples came to him for to show him the buildings of the temple. And Jesus said unto them, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, There shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. And he sat upon the Mount of Olives, and the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of the coming of the end of the world? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these things are the beginning of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you up to the, be afflicted and shall kill you. And you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endureth to the end, the same shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for the witness unto nations, and then shall you see the end come. Amen. Um, I want to pick up in uh, something else here now. Bear with me. Um, these are the beginnings of the birth pangs. These are what we're going through right now. Um, Jesus warned us that these things would come, uh, that men would turn against men. There would be many false prophets out there, many false teachers, people deceiving you, even the elect's sake, telling you things that are, are wrong, um, things um, that uh, would lead you uh, astray. But, um, you know, we do read uh, in further into the Bible what we believe, uh, the Christians who believe in the rapture, believe in the blessed hope of Jesus Christ's return very soon, that any day he shall crack the sky. And um, let me pick up in uh, 1 Thessalonians 4 and uh, verse 13 I'm going to start in. But I would not have you be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so then also those which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this I say unto you by the word of the Lord, that the which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them from which are fallen asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, and the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so it shall be with the Lord. Wheresoever comfort one another in these words. Amen. This is my blessed hope to soon return unto the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <sighs> You know, I've always said that I'm going to preach the gospel um, to the day I die. 
or to the day I'm raptured, um, I'm in a race. And uh, one or the other is going to come very soon. And uh, I just want everyone to know that I love you. And um, I know a lot, a lot of people don't want to watch my videos. Uh, they're just basically looking for a picture to copy to put on their walls. But to those who are uh, faithful to my ministry and believe in me and believe what I'm trying to do here... I just wanted to come to you one more time and uh, let you know that I believe with all my heart and my soul that Jesus Christ is going to be back any moment now. And uh, I don't want you to be disheartened and I don't want you to be fearful that uh, we're left alone in this world. And uh, there is no hope because... Uh, as long as Jesus Christ dwells in your heart, there's hope. There's hope of eternal life through him. And, um, you know, I may tell you that it looks so dark out there. And uh, you know that old saying, it's always darkest before the dawn. Well, the dawn is going to be the return of Jesus Christ. I truly believe that any moment, any day now, he is going to crack the sky open and bring his children home. Like we read in Thessalonians 4 there, um, the dead in Christ shall rise first, and those who are left shall meet them in the air. Glory, hallelujah, what a day that is. Um, as I read in the book of Matthew there, uh, these are the harbingers, the beginning of the end that we are going through right now. Jesus warned us that these things would come, that false prophets would arise, that uh, they would deceive many. Um there's so many people out there promising you so many things, uh, saying that they have inside information to everything. You know, uh, don't let these people deceive you and don't let them bring fear upon you. Um, God's got this whole situation here with this election. Um, no matter what turns out, we are still in the hands of the loving and living God. Uh, those who are his he will not abandon. He will not forget. He will stand with us. You know, the Bible says, behold, he uh, holds us in the palm of his hands. Um, we are the apple of his eye. Uh, he loves us so much. He loves us so much, my friends, that he sent his one and only son into this world so we would have eternal life. For as it says in John 3, um, God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son into this world that whosoever lives and believes in him shall not perish, but shall have everlasting life. God didn't send his son into this world to condemn it, but he sent his son into this world to set us free, to make us whole, to uh, eventually bring us home. And, um, you know, we don't know. We don't know if tomorrow's going to come. Nothing is promised to us. Uh, you know, the Bible says that life is like a vapor. Everybody's going on and worrying about everything that's going on right now. But the whole truth is um, life is like a vapor. Uh, we could be gone in the twinkling of an eye if it's God so calling. Um, I'm just going to bring up a few things here. I uh, remember when my brother Phil died, um, he knew he was sick. But he didn't know that that was going to be the day that he was going to go and meet the Lord. Dad, uh, he was going to meet his final breath. We don't know. Um, I had something happen to me today. And uh, I really think that the Lord is telling me that my time is close. Um, I think he's telling us all their time is close. My prayer to Jesus was that I would live until the rapture. And keep preaching his word. Not because I'm um, full of myself or I uh, think my life is so great. But I just want to serve him until that final day. I want to um, warn as much people as I can. That Jesus Christ loves them. And um, in him you can find a forever friend. And... Um, not to worry, you know, if you put your trust in Jesus Christ for, um, he will see us through all of these things. 
uh, you know, so many sayings. It's our always darkest before the dawn, you know, and everything. Um, as long as we have Christ, we're going to be okay. As long as we seek him out, we're going to be okay. Uh, my advice to you all is um, if you have unsaved loved ones, uh, share the gospel with them more than ever now. Uh, be a living witness for Jesus Christ. Be a living, walking, talking witness for Jesus Christ. Don't let um, a moment go by without letting them know that Jesus loves them. And um, in him you can find eternal life. You can find a forever friend. Uh, I just want to uh, emphasize and warn you that whatever's going to be happening coming upon us, uh, always remember Jesus is with us. He's, uh, he said he will never leave us or forsake us. Um, and I hold true to that Bible promise. I, I believe it. I believe it with all my heart, my soul, and my mind. And um, I believe <clears throat> if I live for a, a few more months, whenever it comes to the rapture, or if I was going to die today, <sighs> Jesus Christ is there. Jesus Christ is holding my hand. Jesus Christ will lead me home. And I know that um, when I close my eyes to this life and open them up to the next, he will be the first one I will see. And um, he'll say unto me, Welcome home, thou good and faithful servant. Enter into thy rest. And uh, I don't know about you, but I'll fall at his feet because uh, I'm so unworthy. But you know what? That's okay because um, we're all unworthy. None of us are worthy, you know. It's like uh, Paul said, the good that I would do, I do not. And the evil that I wanted to do, I end up doing. Because unfortunately we live in these earthen vessels and um, we uh, strive to be perfect. You know, Jesus said, be perfect just as your heavenly father is perfect. So we strive, but we fall also uh, short. But um, you know what? Either way, Jesus is coming back soon for the true and good. Are you one of those? Are you truly born again, washed in the blood of the Lamb, holy, ghost sanctified in Jesus Christ? Glory, hallelujah. Are you truly excited about his return now? Are you truly... Um, on fire for Jesus Christ and his return. Are you um, truly in love with Jesus? Um, have you really fallen in love with the Lord? Um, <clears throat> if you haven't, you know, you better uh, seek him out right now because, uh, you know, like I said, nobody's life is promised to them. I know I'm going on a little here, but... Uh, I just wanted to let you know that in this Holy Bible, uh, the book of God, the book of books, it says Jesus warned us of his return. Jesus warned us of these last days. Jesus warned us that, um, <clears throat> excuse me, Jesus warned us that all of this stuff was going to happen. And, you know, we thought, you know, tomorrow, tomorrow, it's not going to be in our lifetime. Well, you know what? Suddenly, it is upon us. And are you ready to meet your maker? Are you ready to meet Jesus Christ? Is he your king of kings? Is he your lord of lords? If he's not, you better make him that today. If your family and your friends, if they don't know him, you must be the best witness you can for them. Um, shout it from the mountaintops that Jesus Christ is returning. And uh, this is what we should be concentrating on Um not the things of this world. Be aware of the things of this world, but set your mind on his kingdom and all other things shall be added freely unto you. Think about that. So till next time. This is Pastor John checking out, saying peace, love, and joy. I leave you peace, love, and joy that he gave me. 
And um, if I don't see you again, I'll meet you on the other side. God bless you.